Studio Bastione is unlike most restoration workshops in Florence. The restorers here don't just share their workspace, but their knowledge and expertise too. In 2005, a group of conservators and restorers decided to start Studio Bastione. They each came from different areas of expertise and thought they could work together to tackle some of the problems they jointly faced. I think the older generations of conservators, no longer today, but definitely the older generations, still had this sort of idea of the secrets of the of the bottega, no? So my recipe is my recipe, I'm not going to necessarily share that with other conservators. And that doesn't, doesn't really exist anymore today, but it definitely was very much in, in the way conservators worked 10, 15, 20 years ago. No? Um, and again, the association makes a lot of emphasis that, that you have a moral duty to explain to the entire world what you're using, how you're using it, what type of recipes you're using it, and how that is going to affect the painting in the long run. This approach means the restorers save time and money too. That sheet of paper costs a lot of money. This Melinex is very expensive. There's a very, very economical alternative, which is baking paper. So one conservator told another conservator in here and the next thing we knew is that no one in the association knew that you could, instead of spending 50 euros for a couple of meters of Melinex, you could spend 50 cents for a couple of meters of baking powder or baking paper. In a studio like this, you would expect most of the works being restored are pretty old, but that's not the case because many of the commissions are for contemporary art. Lots of contemporary artists want their object to deteriorate because the deterioration process is part of the expression of the object. So contemporary artists use materials that are chemically and physically totally unstable or very poor materials like cardboard or newspaper, um, eggs thrown onto bits and pieces of plastic that are held together by second-rated glues. So the actual materials in themselves are not meant to last, they have no durability. The intention is not necessarily for those materials to last, but of course what happens is that the owner of an object of contemporary art that has paid a lot of money for it wants that object to last. The association has formed a subgroup specialising in contemporary art pieces and the problems faced restoring it. When an object comes in and it's multimaterial, so there's paper, there's plastic, there's canvas, there's oil, the paper conservator, the person involved in plastics, the person involved in oil, they can all join up to try to address the problem. In the future, the association hopes to join other networks at the European and worldwide level, so the expertise and approaches can be shared on an even broader scale.